This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from South San Francisco, California, weighing 175 pounds, Aaron Solo. Solo's my man. I want you to know that, Ricky. He is, bro. He's my man. Yeah. He's the only guy, a guy that's not in Team Taz that I like a lot. Why? I like him. I'm just like, curious. That's all. No, no he's, jealousy. He's tremendous in the ring. You know him a long time. You yes. Tagged with him. You know him a lot better than I know. Live together. Tag together. together. You know him really well. I don't know why you have heat with him. I, you I don't friends. have heat with him. I feel like you got a little heat with him, bro. Did he, did he eat your groceries? <laughs> okay. Solo's the man, bro. And his opponent. From Jersey City, New Jersey, weighing 188 pounds, the Concrete Rose, Sunny Kiss. Last week on AEW Dynamite, Sunny Kiss had a huge opportunity coming in as a late entry to the AEW World Title Eliminator Tournament. But unfortunately for Sunny, he was pitted against a very motivated, very driven Kenny Omega. Yeah. And, and Excalibur, as you know, and, and Ricky, you know this too, it's, it's tough to prepare for athletes when you're just thrown into something, especially yep. someone to the level of a Kenny Omega. Yeah. So that was definitely tough going, you know, for, for Sonny Kiss on Dynamite. Yeah, Ome Omega looked like he had a point to prove, Ricky. I, I would think Sonny has retribution uh, on the mind, you know? I don't know if Sonny's a particularly vengeful person, but I think Sonny could be looking at this match as a way to bounce back. I don't know. We'll see against Solo, but my money's on Solo, I'll tell you that. Sonny avoids the clothesline. I'll tell you something I learned a long time ago, Ricky Stocks. Don't bet on pro wrestling. Well, I'm definitely not betting the house now. Come on, Sonny. You see that. Aaron Solo in the corner. Sonny Kiss coming back. Dodges out of the way of Aaron Solo. Oh, good quickness right there by Sonny. Good quickness, even better flexibility, but Solo, oh, wow, oh look at that. Nice. I taught him that. Yeah. I taught Solo Did that. You? Oh, yes. bro, you're the man. You're the best. When you're teaming with me, you're learning every day. I know. I heard. I know. Fashion, wrestling, food, everything. So look over here. Look, talk to, look talk over to here. So, no, 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 he don't worry about it. I'm you fine. You know, he doesn't have headsets on. I don't need people looking at me. We went over this, Excalibur. Cool. Stops from Aaron Solo. A pair of stomps from Aaron Solo. I, I would like to make a con uh, correction. Last time I was here, I said Solo was a karate black belt. He actually is a taekwondo black belt. Okay. So I apologize to those who are. Uh, oh! Right. Oh! Look at the guy. You saw a black belt, and you just figured it was karate. Oh! And for those that don't know, the difference is karate is a Japanese art. A uh, Korean art is what taekwondo is. Cover here by Solo. But Ricky, I'm sure that. you knew that. Well, I'm being sarcastic. You didn't know that? Well, I did. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate these moments. This I don't get it from Excalibur. I, I am the sensei of all FTW dojos worldwide. These are the reasons why. Oh, how many are there, Tess? A plethora. Don't tell them where they're at. I can't even tell you. Nope. Swing blocked there by Solo. Solo. Nice. Hey, nice. the body there we go. And the stomp. You told him that too, I bet. I knew it. I knew it, Ricky. Solo covers, hooks the near leg, shoots. Like, you guys practice that in the den? Like I, living I, room, like backyard, what are you doing? No, I just, I, I did it Not in a bar backyard, fight one bro. time and he said, well, how did you, I said, I just know it. I don't picture you ever going to a bar. I see you in a wine bar or like a like a martini bar. Well, you know, when you gotta hang with the peasants, you gotta <laughs> do the peasants, dude. I, 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 Aaron Solo in control of Sonny Kiss, Sonny. This really in trouble. Come on, so you can't be doing these poses in the ring. That that doesn't help you, you know? Don't do poses like that. Have you ever watched a Ricky Starks match? Baby, come on. <laughs> I love myself. And I win, so what are you talking about? That defeats your point. You have won nine of your last ten matches. Thank you. Yeah. Solo looking to so put a pretty. notch. Hey, on his so in, in his win column it's it's with this clothesline. Oh, no. Whip, oh, whip oh, the hair no. whip. Whipping the hair into the face of Sonny Kiss. Conditioner gets in your eyes, and I'm telling y'all, that ain't Johnson & Johnson. That's some other off. Oh, oh he uses oh. like some high-end stuff, but oh. Sonny, Sonny's bringing those high-end jersey forearms. Yeah, this got Sonny fired up, and oh! <laughs> yeah. Sonny dropped down into the split solo. Went for the kick. Sonny counters. High stack, two, no. Whew. Shows so, you how flexible so oh, oh, wow. wow. Showing that Taekwondo background right there. Look Hook the Taz. cradle in the head. Look at oh. that, Taz. Oh. Takes Sonny over the top. Solo covers. Oh. No. Well, you know, wasn't thrown by Taz, so. No. Thanks. Wasn't going to get. There. Aaron Solo getting in the face of referee Aubrey Edwards, wasting time. About oh, time. that Aubrey, exactly. About time. Ricky. She is so full of herself. 
What an ego. She got a worse ego, Aubrey, than, than, than freaking Justin Roberts does. Worse. Solo charges in, eats like the boot J-Row. of Sunny Kiss. Sunny slides through the legs of Solo. Drops all. Drops all, takes Solo oh. and the discus or the spinning elbow strike. Sunny is just is going to town right now. Watch the suplex here. Nice job. Sunny springs up. Oh, you can see still not 100% after weathering the storm of Aaron Solo. Solo oh. tried to get the boots up, got rocked there. Oh, oh Aaron Solo's in a bad way. Look at what he's laid up there. Oh, oh no! Oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> Sonny opting not even for the axes and O's, just a perfectly placed axe kick. That was nasty on the abs. And the oh. splitting leg drop cover. One, two, three. Splits, Bill. The winner of this match, Sonny Kiss. Sonny Kiss in an incredible bounce back performance here. It's a hell of a match. Yeah. Both athletes really was. It, it very impressive. No, I'm not impressed by the uh, off brand cheetah print Sonny has. But That's not real cheetah, right, bro? No, no absolutely not. not. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, what the hell? This is why. Archer. This is oh, no. Sonny, oh! Archer hates fake cheetah Humpty print. Humpty Dumpty set on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I know you know what that means because you read that book every night. Jake looks good. The bottom line is this. It is not my fault. From now on, anything this man does, it's on him. Now, as far as myself, you're going to see a few changes here, too. It's been a while since I DDT'd anybody. But I got that feeling coming on. And I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of changes around here. Changes nobody's going to like except me. And that's really all that matters. Now, Lance, tell them how you really feel. Moxley, you did exactly what you said you were going to do. You survived. You didn't beat me. You survived. And Eddie, you bitched, and you whined, and you complained, and you got yourself a second title match. And then you sent Phoenix to hit me with a chair. <laughs> that was a mistake. I'm not letting that go. But we're going to watch Full Gear, and we don't care who wins that match. We don't care who wins the tournament. You might as well call me the Jason Voorhees of AEW because I'm never gonna stop coming for that title. I always tell everybody, everybody dies. But the warpath I'm about to go on, it's gonna be wrath of God, Old Testament, biblical. Well, we've done business, Ricky, as you know, with Jake Roberts and the Murder Hawk Monster. They're bad men. Yeah. But how about Jake Roberts saying he is not responsible? He's he's basically abdicating all responsibility for the actions of Lance Archer. He has lost control of Archer. 